Hey there, explorers of life and learning. Today, we're busting a big myth about pregnancy, one that has led to some very unexpected surprises. Have you ever heard that a woman can't get pregnant during her period? Well, spoiler alert. That's not entirely true. Let's dive into the fascinating world of reproductive health and break it all down. Please watch this video until the end. Please do me a favor by subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that, thank you so much. Now, to understand why pregnancy during a period is possible, let's take a quick tour of the menstrual cycle. On average, a full cycle lasts around 28 days, but it can be shorter or longer, anywhere between 21 and 35 days is normal. The cycle is split into four main phases as follows. The first phase is the menstrual phase, this is when the uterus sheds its lining. And this is what we call a period. It is the day when you experience a full menstrual flow, not just spotting. The second phase is the follicular phase, this is when the body starts preparing for ovulation by growing follicles that contain eggs. The third phase is ovulation, the star of the show. This is when one lucky egg is released, waiting for its big moment of fertilization by only one lucky sperm cell. Ovulation occurs at around the 14th day of the cycle, when a matured egg is released from the follicle and takes the journey down the fallopian tube for possible fertilization. The fourth phase is the luteal phase, this is when, if no fertilization occurs, hormone levels drop, triggering the next period in a new cycle. For comprehensive knowledge about the menstrual cycle and ovulation, please check out my other videos on my channel. I have you covered. Ovulation usually happens around day 14 in a textbook cycle, but let's be real. Bodies don't always follow textbooks. Some women have cycles that are shorter than 28 days or even irregular, meaning they could ovulate much earlier, sometimes right during the period or after their period ends. For example, a woman with a 21-day cycle could ovulate around day 7. If her period lasts 5 to 7 days and she has unprotected sex toward the end of it, sperm can survive for up to 5 days making this situation a perfect fertilization situation, if ovulation happens shortly after the period on the 7th day of that cycle. Did you get that? Here is an illustration using Mia, whose name is fictitious. Let's assume Mia's cycle length is 21 days. Her menstrual flow started from 1st to 5th or 7th of March 2025. Mia has intercourse on the 5th or 7th of March 2025. She assumes that intimacy during her period would be safe and would not lead to pregnancy. But sperm stays potent from 5th to 9th or 7th to 11th of March 2025. Ovulation takes place on the 7th of March 2025, because she has a short cycle of just 21 days. Does Mia get pregnant? Theoretically yes, because sperm is still potent at the time of ovulation. Now you know. Now here's where things get even more interesting. Sperm are tiny but mighty. Under optimal conditions, they can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days because the alkaline environment during ovulation protects sperm and prolongs its survival for about five days. That means sperm from sex during your period could still be around when an egg is released a few days later. And boom, pregnancy can happen. Now, let's talk about some sneaky things that can mess with ovulation timing. Hormonal imbalances. Stress, yes. 
stress can literally delay or speed up ovulation. Extreme weight changes that is weight gain or weight loss. Poor nutrition, smoking, alcohol, and drug use. Intense exercise, Olympians, take note. Genetics. All these factors can make predicting ovulation a bit tricky, which is why assuming pregnancy is impossible during your period is risky business. But wait, there's more. Some women mistake ovulatory bleeding or spotting for their period. Ovulatory spotting is lighter, pinkish, and lasts only a day or two. This is usually due to hormonal changes as the egg is released from the follicles. If you mistake this for your period and have unprotected sex, you could actually be in your most fertile window. But remember that not all women experience ovulation bleeding or spotting. If you're trying to avoid pregnancy, or trying to conceive, understanding ovulation is key. Here are some science-backed ways to track fertility or fertile days. Basal body temperature, your body temperature slightly rises after ovulation. Ovulation predictor kits, they detect hormone surges signaling ovulation. Cervical mucus changes, during ovulation, it's clear and stretchy like egg whites. But are there any cultural perspectives on this matter? What do people in your culture believe? Is this a topic you can easily discuss with someone or would you have reservations? Please comment down below. In many cultures, period blood is considered impure or taboo, often leading to restrictions on women during menstruation. For example, in parts of India and Nepal, traditional beliefs dictate that menstruating women should avoid temples, kitchens, and even certain foods due to notions of ritual impurity. Similarly, in some Islamic traditions, menstruating women are exempt from fasting and prayer, reflecting religious perceptions of menstrual blood. When it comes to pregnancy, misconceptions vary. In some cultures, there is a widespread belief that a woman cannot get pregnant during her period. However, scientific evidence shows that while the chances are lower, it is still possible, especially for women with shorter cycles or irregular ovulation patterns, as we have seen. So, what's the takeaway? While pregnancy during a period is less likely, it's not impossible. If avoiding pregnancy is your goal, always use protection, no matter what time of the month it is. And if you're trying to conceive, tracking ovulation can boost your chances. Now you know the truth about this common myth. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who needs this knowledge. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring life and learning with me. See you next time.